Calculate the depth of the torpedo. Whoa, what is happening? At the end of the first five seconds. Oh, let's see. Okay, so the depth of some object below sea level forms a quadratic pattern, where zero meters is at sea level. A submarine dragged to the object, or a submarine dragged or the object in one second intervals right so what is happening the depth in meters that the object reached is given in the table below so after one second 36 meters the second second oh well the <laughs> the first two seconds 71 meters the first three seconds 104 okay so we know that this forms a quadratic pattern the first question 3.1 Calculate the depth of the object at the end of the first five seconds. Okay, right, let's see. So at the end of the first second, it is 36 meters deep, then 71, and then 104. We are told that it is quadratic. So obviously, we are going to find the difference. 71 minus 36, 35. 104 minus 71. 33 okay the difference is minus 2 so 33 minus 2 that is 31 104 plus 31 135 and then minus 2 this is 29 and then 135 plus 29 that is 164 so the answer here in 3.1 the depth is equals to 164 meters after four seconds after five seconds there we go right so that is 3.1 let's take a look at 3.2 show that the depth of the object at the end of n seconds was t n is equal to minus n squared plus 38 n minus one so because we know that it is a quadratic pattern we can then see Qa is equal to the second difference, which is minus 2. So A is equal to minus 1. And then 3A plus B is equal to T2 minus T1, which is 35. But we're going to have minus 3 plus B being equal to 35. So B is equal to 38. And then A plus B plus C will be equal to T1. Um, so what's the value of T1 again? 36, right? So minus 1 plus 38 plus C is equal to 36. C is equal to, so 36 plus 1 minus 38, that is minus 1. So Tn will be equal to minus N squared plus 38 and minus 1. Looks good. That is 3.2. 3.3, calculate the maximum depth that the object read. So our quadratic pattern, you can see that it is concave down, right? So the maximum will be at x is equal to minus b over 2a at the turning point. So we can say n is equal to minus b over 2a. So this will be equal to minus 38 divided by 2 then minus 1 divided by 2a right right so minus 38 divided by it's just 38 divided by 2 really which is 19 so n is equal to 19 will be where we have the maximum depth so t19 is therefore equals to minus 19 squared plus 38 multiplied by 19 minus 1 so let me substitute that in my calculator. Plus 38 multiplied by 19 minus 1. That is 360 meters. So that is the maximum depth. 3.4. After how many seconds was the object at 104 below sea level for the second time? So again, the fact that this is concave, uh, concave down. It means that it can reach 1.2 times, right? Let's say that is the axis of symmetry. 
you can reach the point at that point and then again uh, there as well so it is a very valid equation yeah after our minutes against was the object at 104 below sea level for the second time so we are looking for minus n squared plus 38 and minus 1 is equals to 104 we're looking for the values of n for which it was 104 meters below sea level so minus n squared plus 38 n so minus 1 minus 104 minus 105 is equals to 0. so uh, i'm just substituting in my calculator 38 plus the square root of 38 squared minus 4 a is 1 c is minus 105 divided by 2 minus 1 so and is it equals to minus 2.59 or n is it equals to uh, let me see um 40.587 i don't like that one of my answers is negative um because n is the position well in this time or in this instance n is time so how can time be negative therefore like how many marks two marks it's not even a lot of marks so what is happening here Hmm. let me just take a look at this and see if i'm making any mistake so minus n squared plus 38 n minus 1 minus 1 over 4 minus okay so let me substitute in my calculator once more so 38 minus b 38 plus b squared so 38 squared minus 4 a a is minus 1 and then c is minus 1 over 5 divided by q multiply by minus one okay i think i had made a mistake when i substituted in my calculator uh so let me see i'm getting n is equals to three now or n is equals to let's see or n is equals to 35 hmm, i'm taking 35 here makes sense makes sense makes sense so i should have substituted the wrong thing there so minus b 38 minus um oh does he want to solve for me oh okay so it's a decision to solve there i thought maybe <laughs> okay so uh minus 38 minus 38 squared b minus 4 a is minus 1 c is minus 105 divided by 2 okay i'm maybe that answer yeah i've substituted in the calculator in the correct way now if you need past papers, if you need study notes, visit allpastpapers.com. I don't think I'm going to upload all the videos. Well, all the questions. I'm going to record all the questions in this question paper. I will just upload the memo on the website. Allpastpapers.com. Keep on checking it out. Here we go. If you like this video, you will definitely love my course. Go ahead and click the link on my bio and you will land on this page. You will not only find the past exam questions, but introduction videos where I break down complex concepts into small pieces that are easy to digest. It is very important in grade 12 to stay ahead of your teacher, and this is what this course is for. It is very easy to navigate through the course as videos are arranged into collections. You can clearly see that we have electrostatics, work energy and power, Doppler effect, so on and so on. Do you maybe need help with study tips and creating your own timetable? We can talk about that inside the course and I can help you out. It doesn't even take a minute to join. Can't wait to hear from you.